Hello, family. Welcome back to Keeping Up with the Case. We've been on a little hiatus, and for good reason, my love. How are you feeling? <laughs> I've been sick this past uh, couple of weeks. Weeks, both of us have actually. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is cold and flu season, but um, fortunately, it's raining. and it is raining. I love just a it. second, let's take you outside in the rain. Oops, sorry about that. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Well, the clouds are parted, but it was raining, so you can see on the ground, nice and wet. Nice. The air is fresh, the sun is shining, it's cool and crisp and clean. Perfect conditions for taking care of the sickies. So I come home and my husband has a delicious um, tea for me. What does it have, baby? Well, to begin with, it has good old-fashioned green tea. Mm -hmm. Raise your hand if you know the good benefits of green tea. So good for you, antioxidants. Yes. Absolutely. Second, it has this special tea. I'm not sure the name of it. Um, well, it's called um, Compuestos Aromáticos. It's a Spanish tea. Oh, uno más para familia? It's a Spanish tea. I guess it has guay guayaba. No, what's it called again? Compuestos Aromáticos. Okay, yes. got it. This tea, it's a tea, okay? It's a, just a tea from South America with ground up herbs, which we put in our tea. Just like, so good. Just like green tea, herbal tea. That's all it is. And, and of course, when I'm not feeling well, my baby gives me yes. this coffee yeah. mug. That's him when he was a little boy. Isn't he the cutest? Oh my gosh, our babies are going to be so cute. Yeah, my hair is a little different. <laughs> Got a little bit more hair. So there's that. Good old fashioned green tea. And um, we get this uh, just at the store. Can't go wrong. Uh, it is caffeinated. And then I also put in some, some organic turmeric. Now this stuff, I, I really sprinkled it in heavily because she is a little sick. And also, I put honey in there, but not just any kind of honey. Get the raw, unfiltered honey. Mm -hmm. And you want this brand, and I believe you can get it at Trader Joe's or Sprouts or just about anywhere. Yeah. And I know, I know that I'm plant-based, but honey is like the best thing you can like have. Technically, to... technically, honey is plant-based, except it's not made by man. It's made by bees. Bees use plants to make honey. Yes. They take the nectar from the flowers and then do their own bee fermentation, and you get honey. And best of all, honey never goes bad. You can leave it up for a century, and all it will do is crystallize and be perfectly edible. I love honey. I love you too, honey. <laughs> So my baby's gonna take care of me today. Yes. As and every day, of course, he's been like taking care of me. We've been taking care of each other, so that's where we've been. We've also been busy, and um, we had a little fiasco at Whole Foods. Tell you more about that later. That's gonna mm -hmm. be fun. But in the meantime, while my baby was exercising in Orange Theory, did some dishes, cleaned up around. Um, you won't see it, but I had some eggs. And on that note, I'd like to point out that beginning yesterday, which was a Wednesday, I'm going to do one week total vegan... Plant-based. Plant-based. Sorry. Total plant-based, which means I'm not going to have any dairy. I'm not going to have any meat. But the plant-based um, means that I'm still going to eat fish and eggs are the only exception because... Um, I need a lot of protein and fish and eggs are good in protein. I try to do egg whites because the yolks are high in cholesterol. But no cheese except dairy free cheese and then um, plants and uh, vegetables and fruits. So, you, so you're going to be a pescatarian? The term is pescatarian, thank oh, you though. Okay. Yes. No, that's, you're right. Uh huh. She, yeah, she's right. Uh, the term is a pescatarian which is you eat no meat except for fish and um, and eggs are really not dairy or um, animal either. They're one of those weird kind of foods. But I do recommend egg whites only, especially if you have high cholesterol. Um, if you love eggs, I would avoid the yolk. Even for me, one that you know can eat anything, I would want to avoid the yolk too. It's pretty mm -hmm. heavy, heavy and uh, could have a potential you know bad food in you. But anyways, so that's where we are now. My baby's gonna go to. 
Ralph's, right? And get some bananas. I'm gonna run over to Ralph's right now while my baby's kind of cleaning up because she just came from working out. A double session, that's two hours, hardcore workout. This chick, okay, she's got some congestion going on, which is what we're gonna work on. Her throat's a little swollen because she uh, had a little accident earlier, we'll tell you about. And um, other parts of her body are, you know, kind of holding her back and she still goes to work out. I know, I just feel like you gotta just get rid of all the toxins and all the bad stuff. So, I just been, you know, yep. oh. going and going I mean just and look at her look how good she looks oh, baby. Wow. as for me my ear got blocked and um, oh, yeah, so, <laughs> what I found out is it's what's called swimmers ear so if you're ever it happened in the shower I was kind of rubbing my ear then all of a sudden boom it, it went deaf not deaf because I can still hear there was um, what it happens is water sneaks in behind your eardrum if there's no pain, then you're okay. It should drain naturally. You can just use things like apple cider vinegar or white vinegar mm -hmm. with alcohol. Um, I don't think rubbing alcohol, I just like vodka or rum. Uh, it's just um, what the uh, doctor said when I was researching it on um, WebMD is that the alcohol literally cleans out any bacteria that could pot potentially fester because the swimmer's ear is benign but what can happen is if you don't drain it it could fester and get you have an ear infection so over the course of a couple of days I've been using the apple cider vinegar but the best method is gravity and also um, if you can take your hand it's very simple it acts as a literal suction the second I started doing that my ear opened up doing this the whole holding in the nose and blowing um, that works too very carefully though because the doctors would be very careful when you do that and just kind of <clears throat> when you blow your ears pop and then it's been helping but because my baby is also you know sick I'm sick because I feel sad Aww. when she's sad feel glad when she's glad if she only knew what I'm going through Aww. I just can't smile like that anymore. So thank you for hanging tough with us. Yes. We're back. We have something big planned, not in the not too distant future for the month of December. Mm -hmm. We hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We hope you all will have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yes. Would you like to say anything, Rhonda? And we will we'll just keep coming along with us throughout the day. For all of you new subscribers that we see, thank you. We love you. Mm -hmm. For all of you new newcomers, please give us a like, subscribe down below, comment, join us, follow our little Instagram and social media doodads because, man, there's so much stuff out there. Mm -hmm. And we are so happy you're with us. And we're so happy you can come along with us, join us, laugh with us, cry with us, have fun with us, worship God with us, and love us the way we love you because mm -hmm. he first loved us. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's go get better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just arrived at Ralph's. I'm just gonna get some uh, avocados and bananas from my lover, my lovey. And um, yeah, I'm at Ralph's. So uh, enjoy me for the ride home. And uh, my love, I love you so much. And I'll see you guys in a bit. So I just got my our bananas and avocados. I tried to find the softest avocados, um, but not too soft. Man, this it's tough. I mean, I guess you just gotta buy them and wait for them to ripen when you get home. Oh, my love, I am coming home. I got some quarters. I was able to use Coinstar, and the food didn't cost me it cost me a cent. Hope you guys are doing well. So yeah, we're all, uh... oh man. Uh, yeah, it's true, my wife sick, I'm sick, we're all sick, but it's funny because my wife, you know, she can't smell anything and that really, you know, throws her off because my wife, you know, likes, you know, it's one of her love languages. It's kind of like the tactile contact or uh, 
physical touch. It's my love language too, but she likes the uh, the aromas. You know, when you have that familiar scent of your spouse or your loved one. <sighs> I even have memorable scents from my old house, so she's kind of thrown off. Can't smell anything. Then I get thrown off, but it's all good. My love, I love you so much. I always pray that you get better. And I guess I've never really had a one-on-one -on -one with our fam. It's kind of nice. Family, seriously, we are just so happy to be on this channel. We're so happy to have you all. And we hope that we can encourage you, we can motivate you, inspire you, and especially uplift you if you're feeling down. If it's a laugh, if it's a joke, a challenge, or a prank, or just, you know, as we do our devotionals in the morning, is if we have you with us, because we're, we're devoted children to God, we're Christians, we are his son and daughter whom he chose, and we chose him, so we worship him by studying his word, and uh, just, I just, uh, I'm so grateful for everything that's happening and going on in our lives. It's a rush. It's very, very, very crazy, cray-cray. Um, but there's a, an old quote that says, do what makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> um, if we stick to the comfort, if we stick to the familiar, if we just stick to what we know and don't branch out, nothing will happen. The thing is that it is scary, and it does cause pain. It potentially causes a lot of pain and a lot of confusion and a lot of just, well, barriers that were broken because as for myself, I was su sucking, a th sucking my thumb in a psychiatric ward twice because I just couldn't handle life. It was overwhelming. I'm diagnosed with autism, so that's very understandable. But I made a choice. I'm going to live. I'm going to live. I'm going to do it. I had no idea how. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even know what I was getting myself into. If I know, if I knew then what I know now, well, thank God I didn't because I might have been deterred, but I didn't. And so I chose and now I'm here. Now I'm with you, our family. I'm with my beautiful wife, married man, diagnosed with autism. Go figure. And now I get to shower my baby with laurels and shower her with prose by saying in poetic ways just how much I love her. Unfortunately, out of all the poetic words I've already used for her and to her, I still have fallen utterly short in just how magnificent she is, how wonderful she is to me, and how much I love her. Words will never be adequate. Never. So my love, suffice it to say that ah, that I love you and I love you and I love you. <laughs> that's about all I can muster these days. But that's enough. Because all you need is love. Amen. As we do, all of you. Love you all. Thank you for joining me on this little ditty. And... God bless you. I know she's not here, so I'll just do this. Wee! Hey guys, just got out of the shower. And I'm gonna make a protein smoothie. And this is what I'm going to <clears throat> make. Put some blueberry, frozen bananas, some cacao powder, maca powder, and a little bit of organic protein. That's uh, for a post-workout. Good. Yummy. How good that looks, guys. Some vegan Thousand Island dressing. Avocados, tomatoes. Beans, deliciousness, romaine lettuce. Oh, I just had some soup. My wife 
had some massage and I was just sitting there on my phone playing my little tappy meditation game. It helps. Um, not because of her though. <laughs> and she was in the bathroom cleaning some of her jewelry and all of a sudden I said, hmm, she's craving Tierra Mia, which is a coffee place. And then she comes in and gives me a nice big kiss and uh, I told her out loud, my wife, uh, you're craving Tierra Mia and she's like, oh, hang on. What did you say, love? That I was craving it, actually, I was. Like on my way back from Orange Theory, I was thinking like, oh, Tierra Mia would have been so good right yeah. now, but... And, you know, it was just like and when I too said, far. Right, and when I said, when, I when she walked over and I said, uh, you're craving Tierra Mia, her exact words were actually this. <gasps> yep, so, all the time. It's crazy. So I'm actually just going to put on a shirt, grab my wallet, and I'm going to get the Tierra Mia, of course. Yes. It's raining. It's like pouring rain right now. Everyone, like, look at that. I love the rain. Beautiful. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for the rain. So family, it's been raining, <laughs> but that's not a bad thing. So I stayed in to cook my beautiful wife some awesome pasta, and I'd like to show you where to go. The recipe I used. So this pasta is called a lemon garlic pasta, and of course it's plant-based, it's vegan. Here is the final product that I made for her. And it's very good. It's a lemon zest garlic pasta. You can use any kind of pasta you want. Um, but this pasta here, I'd like to show you one second, is called a bonza. Bonza pasta. It's chickpeas make, and it's made of chickpeas. This stuff has 25 grams of protein per serving. And um, this box has four servings. So it has gluten-free, low glycemic index, vegan, and non-GMO. And it tastes amazing. I mean, for all I know, I'm eating pasta. Is my baby making her nails all pretty, or? Yes. For all of our YouTube Ooh. <laughs> Guys, you're awesome. It's a rainy day. Nice Sting. to stay in. Yeah. And relax. I did go out to get my wife uh, some coffee and. Oh, baby. The lightning was like. Right when he went out, too. The second I got into the car and I was like getting set up and everything, then all of a sudden I pull out, it just drops. And there was even an electrical transformer that blew up. I saw the whole thing. Pretty intense. Scary. Yeah, I've seen it happen before. I was far away. I saw a total of three fire trucks, two paramedics, and one police officer, all with their lights going in multiple different directions. So please, guys, drive carefully. When it's raining, water's slippery. People are become more mm -hmm. people become more irritable. And we live in Southern California, which I do believe is the third worst traffic public transportation place in the world. Mm -hmm. And so, just be safe out there if it's raining. Yes. How was your food, my love? It was good. So good. Wow. Good. Amazing. If you guys try that recipe, let us know because... Yeah, give it a shot. It's really delicious. I'll take a... I'll go ahead and send you the screenshots I took of the recipe. Just, you know, mm -hmm. in the description below. I'll, or, I'll, I'll just... You know what? Here, check this out. There. Now you got it. Because you can all just take a screenshot, I suppose. So. Mhm. Mm all right, babe. All right. Well, you have a good night. Sleep all of well. You. Oh, speaking of thunder and lightning, lightning and the thunder. 
Got that thunder? <laughs> That's so cool, right when we were talking about it. And there you go, flipping up the screen. We love you all. And we hope you enjoyed this vlog. Taking care of the babies vlog. Mm -hmm. Feeling better. And please, yes. pr please pray for my baby that she can feel better because mm -hmm. her nose and throat. Mm -hmm. Love you, baby. Yes. And thank you all. We love you. And yes. Thank good night. And thank you for keeping up with the case. Oh. Okay, don't oh, care really? careful. <laughs> There's nothing here. Stop. What the heck is that? Where's it coming from? I don't know. You seriously not know? It, I feel like it's coming through the balcony. That is not cool. <laughs> YouTube. Oh, I should have waited. Do you want to wake the neighbors up? It's like, <laughs> guys, it's, look at that. It's like 1.35 in the freaking morning. Oh, guys. 
I've been planning this for a while now because we've been sick, but we're better now, of course. Yeah, well, you're going to <laughs> Here, let me take that. Plan me. Let me take that. Ow. So. Oh my gosh, that scared the living heck out of me. That was perfect. I can't wait to look at that footage. <gasps> Sorry, well, we're babe. We're just about to go to sleep to get to bed. Well, now the family can wish us a good night's sleep. Right, fam? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so before you any... got me good. Yes. Oh my gosh. Told you you had no After idea. watching a scary movie, too. We watched that two is not of them. Cool. And foreign one did that, so. Yes. So. Get you back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are pretty brutal, huh? So, anyways, good night, fam. You saw what time it was, so. See ya.